Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's August 11th, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and specifically five stocks within the industry on the rise this week. As of midday August 11, 2023, waste management is up to trading at a volume of 91,924. Enbridge Incorporated is up to a volume of 577,052. Dominion Energy is currently trading at a volume of 681,786. Clean Energy is up to 214,952. And Chevron Core has moved to trading at a volume of 824,150 this week. And that has just been a quick look at five stocks on the rise. And now first up in the news, Southern California Gas Company said this past week it plans to turn agricultural waste into renewable natural gas as part of what would become California's largest RNG pilot project. The project, which would be developed by San Joaquin Renewables LLC in McFarland, California, would produce up to 4.5 billion cubic feet of RNG annually from 400,000 to 500,000 tons of agricultural waste if the project is approved. SoCalGas has submitted its application for the project to the California Public Utilities Commission. Neil Navin, Chief Clean Fuels Officer at SoCal Gas, said, quote, Instead of burning this agricultural waste, this project could produce more RNG annually than the entire state of Hawaii uses each year. Putting this waste to good use to help shore up energy reliability and resiliency as we transition to a clean energy economy, end quote. If the company is successful in securing approvals for the RNG pilot, the project could go online in late 2026 and more than double SoCal Gas's 2022 RNG deliveries. And a new report just released from the American Clean Power Association shows federal support has led to announced private investments totaling $271 billion in domestic clean energy projects and manufacturing facilities over the past 12 months. This exceeds the combined clean energy investments made over the previous eight years combined. Many experts are attributing this to the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act nearly a year ago. The Clean Energy Investing in America report estimates that announced projects total 184.85 gigawatts of new utility-scale clean energy capacity. To bring domestic content to these projects, 83 new or expanded utility-scale clean energy manufacturing facilities have been announced, amounting to an investment of over $22 billion and opening nearly 30,000 new manufacturing jobs. Jason Grummet, CEO of ACP, said, quote, investment in clean energy production and manufacturing is surging. New jobs and revenue are bringing opportunity and optimism to rural communities across the country. America's manufacturing centers are competing to meet new clean energy demand with a new domestic wind, solar, or storage manufacturing facility announced every four days, end quote. And now moving to Chicago, LRS announced the grand opening of their new facility, The Exchange, a new state-of-the-art material recovery facility located in the Stockyards neighborhood of the Windy City. The Exchange boasts a processing capacity of 25 tons of recyclables per hour and has plans for future expansion to 35 tons per hour, playing a pivotal role in enhancing waste diversion efforts in the Chicagoland area. The facility, which is positioned within LRS's 25-acre eco-park and creates a centralized location to house over 140 waste and recycling trucks to reduce transportation costs and emissions, is equipped to handle various types of wastes including single-stream recyclables, non-hazardous and non-special municipal solid waste items, and other recyclable materials. It uses cutting-edge sorting equipment, including six optical sorters, a CP auger screen, and three fire rover units, all managed by a skilled team of 11 staff members. 
the exchange is projected to divert 224 million pounds of recyclables annually, resulting in thousands of tons of avoided CO2 emissions. John Larson, chief operating officer at LRS, said, quote, The exchange stands as a powerful embodiment of our vision to become the safest, most innovative waste recycler globally. It symbolizes our unwavering dedication to spearhead transformative change, not only within our industry, but also within the communities we have the privilege to support, end quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. In the world of acquisitions, Tide Rock, a San Diego, California-based unlevered buyout firm, has acquired assets from SIPI Asset Recovery and greatly expands their existing national electronics recycling portfolio. These new assets are planned to be integrated into Full Circle Electronics. This strategic move is set to provide enterprise customers with an expanded suite of services for electronics recycling and asset recovery. The recent acquisition significantly broadens Full Circle's electronics recycling geographic reach, adding new locations in Northern California, Illinois, Texas, as well as Mexico, and even Colombia. The company already had locations in Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, and Southern California. Mark Papp, president of Tide Rock Yield Company, said, quote, We are thrilled to welcome the SIPI ITAD division to Full Circle Electronics. This acquisition adds to Full Circle's expertise, capacity, and geographic footprint. With these new locations, Full Circle can provide even better services to our enterprise customers around the U.S. and now, for the first time, expand our reach to Latin and South America as well. End quote. And lastly, Ohio residents in Columbiana County are now being asked to separate their recyclables into five specific categories. In an effort to reduce garbage and prohibited items dumped at area recycling sites, citizens are being asked to separate their recyclables and only put them in the proper dumpster. The district received a $40,000 education outreach grant last year from the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency for new labels to place on containers. The label change was completed in Carroll County, and now the work is about halfway done in Columbiana County. The five categories for recyclables are cardboard, glass bottles and jars, plastic bottles and jugs, aluminum and steel cans, and paper. For many years, residents could put all of their paper products, newspapers, cardboard, plastic, aluminum, metal, glass, all in the same dumpster, but due to concerns of new sites looking like garbage dumps and problems with improper items being left, the decision was made to have residents separate their items. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for August 11th, 2023, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another installment of Recyclist. Thank you.